everyone. Good morning. It's Ms. Aradora again. And Ms. Guzman. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Today, we're going to talk to you about lunch and recess. And actually, let me mention um, something about breakfast too. We talked about it on Monday, but we just wanted to emphasize that um, students will receive their breakfast in on their way in. And they'll get a, it's like a grab and go. They'll grab their breakfast and they'll eat in the classroom, okay? And woohoo! Free meals for everyone, all right? Every student, every All Star student gets a free meal through the end of December for now. We'll see if that changes. Yeah, so free breakfast and free lunch. And today we're gonna show you the cafeteria and, and the procedures for lunch, okay? So everyone will come in and get their lunch. But there are some classrooms that will eat in the cafeteria, and there are some that are gonna go back to class and eat in the classroom, okay? So kinder, first grade, and fifth grade, right now, will eat in the cafeteria. Everybody else will go back to class, okay? All right, so here in a little bit, we're gonna show you around how they're gonna enter and exit, um, so stay tuned. Stars, it is lunch time. So we are going to walk into the cafeteria. Notice that I'm walking on the right side where the markings are. I'm staying distant from those in front of me and those behind me. I'm approaching a stop sign right here. So I'm going to stop and wait for my teacher to give me permission to enter the cafeteria. Once my teacher gives me permission, I'm going to enter the cafeteria and notice the cafeteria uh, six feet apart emblems on the floor, okay? So when you get in here, you will already know if you are supposed to go through line A to retrieve your food or line B. If you are line B, you're going to keep walking to line B. Stay distant from those around you. These tables won't be here on Monday. And then we will stay distant as we walk to retrieve our milk, our food, our condiments. Stay off the windows. Stay away from the friends eating lunch. Don't forget to say thank you. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank these great ladies. Yes, our cafeteria ladies work so hard. They're so awesome. Same for the treats. If you're if, if they're offering ice cream, you have to get it right then and there. You're not allowed to sit down or go to class and then come back and get it. So you will walk with your items and you will find your assigned seating. Okay, notice the tables are separated. Only two people allowed to a seat. Your teacher will tell you which table you're sitting at. It's the side for me. So if this is my seat, I'm going to sit down carefully on this side because whoever sits with me is going to sit on the opposite side. And you will have the same spot every day. It's assigned seating. And this is where you will sit and eat your lunch and enjoy your lunch. Okay. Okay. We showed you the procedures for those friends that are eating lunch in the cafeteria. Kindergarten, first grade, and fifth graders. Those are your procedures when you eat in the cafeteria. The rest of the grade levels 
are going to have to walk in, retrieve your milk, retrieve your juice, your fruit, your vegetables, your main meal, whether it be a burger, spaghetti, lasagna, whatever it is. Or one of my favorites, Alfredo. <laughs> retrieve your items, enchiladas, nachos. You guys remember those good lunches that these ladies would serve you. Remember to grab your ketchup, mustard, everything. Do not forget anything if you're not allowed to come back and get it. Say thank you to the cafeteria ladies as they scan your ID. Grab your meal carefully. And you will line up at the exit door. Okay? Stay socially distanced. Line up at the exit door. Stay socially distanced for the rest of your friends to get in line. Your teacher may have you line up outside in the hallway. This is the exit door only. Nobody will be entering these doors. This is the exit doors only. Find a good spot for the, wherever the teacher tells you to wait for all the friends to get through the line. And then you will walk back to class. Everyone who exits the cafeteria will always return down this hallway, okay? If you're entering the cafeteria, we're gonna enter in front of the library. Thank you. Okay guys, we had lunch. It's time to go to recess. Everyone will need to have a squirt of hand sanitizer before going out to recess. Your teacher will provide you with the squirt, okay? Clean your hands until it dissolves, and then you're able to go out to recess. Each classroom will be uh, playing at a different play area every day, so there will not be multiple classrooms in one area. Notice here is one of our playgrounds, the one on the north side. Good things about this is that you'll be able to have a break from wearing your mask out at recess as long as you can stay distant and away from your friends. Your teachers have great ideas on contactless recess activities, okay? So be careful, be safe. If you're getting too close or friends getting too close, then we recommend that you put your mask back on. But really, have a break, breathe, breathe some fresh air, and enjoy your time at recess. Before going back in, once again, another squirt, clean your hands, and then you'll probably be having a uh, restroom break at that time. Have fun. showed you all the fun play areas that we will use for recess. Don't forget that every time you come outside and when you come back inside, you'll get a squirt of the good stuff to make sure that we're killing all those germs. Um, a few things I want to remind you too. All the teachers have um, like play kits, if you will, of equipment that only your class will use. So that's going to be awesome. They have some fun activities that will help um, all of the all-stars relax and enjoy the outdoors when it's recess time. We can't wait to see you. Bye.